which basically, you know, uh, before we started recording, um, we were checking in on the basic unit, and it sounds like they're basically done making those. So it sounds like they're phasing out the basic unit, and only going to have this one, this one uh, SKU, or uh, yeah, SKU, which or yeah, SKU, um, <laughs> which which makes sense because apparently not many people are buying the basic. I don't know anyone with the basic I, except for myself actually, because I bought a uh, the Europe or the Japanese one I have is basic. I just wanted a light looking good. Well, it makes sense that they would give it. I like as you said, nobody was really buying it, and I, the thing I'm curious about is they're, are they going to give that a fifty dollar price drop just to get rid of all those? Or that's a good there's one. No, they, they're, 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 there's no part. announcement about it, but I, I haven't honestly seen a white version around in a while. I've mean, actively looked. What they would do is they, they probably announce an official price cut. They probably just leave it with the retailer, I'm guessing, and they just discount them. Just uh, <laughs> so, go on yeah, in. Makes sense. yeah. So uh, I, I I think the price cut is cool. I did not see this coming. I thought they would. Nintendo has always said it's been a software problem, which it largely is. <laughs> uh, and so I thought they would just ride on their software sales, but I'm just guessing they just want it up, yeah. <laughs> They are basically doing with the 3DS kids. They lower the price on Kickstart, these Jumpstart sales, and have a blue game to support that, you know, newfound momentum. Yeah, oh, and, so they they to <laughs> <laughs> and they need that momentum because it makes more sense to have them at, uh, have the Wii U at $100 when the PS4 is coming out in November yep. at $400. Oh, and then, yeah, Xbox at, what, 500? 500, yeah. Yeah, that's a cascade of pricing there. Yeah, so that's yeah. exactly. So that's a, 200, that's a potential $200 savings, um, uh, you know, across, you know, compared to the Xbox One, which is which is considerable. That is, yeah. you, know, you can grab that and a 2DS and still come out ahead. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of, like, pricing, though, what they could have had, like, during the holidays, it might be pretty hard to get a PS4 or an Xbox One. Right. So it could be like a, a good alternative for someone who may not get the, you know, maybe they wanted the other system but they didn't have the Wii U. This could be a good opportunity for them to actually, you know, cash in on that. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, they could be going for the whole, uh, you know, the whole, like, grab the PS, or grab an Xbox and Wii thing, you know, instead of PS3. And then we get robbed in the parking lot and then throw back in and get <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and especially because launches always have limited systems and they already right, said yeah. both systems are already pre-ordered completely. Left. And so, we don't know what kind of like shipment tri- like they're gonna be getting from like you know overseas, like how quickly yeah. it's gonna turn around. So right. So so clearly the price drop is you know just you know part one of Nintendo's plan to increase sales. That's happening September twentieth. Um, but speaking of release dates.